Well, howdy, howdy. So, here I am today. I'm going to give a quick tutorial on the basics of Place Everywhere. Uh, first thing I want to go into huh? is the using the hotkeys. That's that's your bread and butter right there. The hotkeys are posted on the mod author page in the description, I'm pretty sure. First thing I want to get into is using the insert button. When you hit insert, uh, well, I got to go in the workshop first. So let me just do that. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, uh, here we are in workshop mode. If I press the insert button, it says extra object selection enabled. I can now move this workbench wherever I want. Now, I'm going to put it back where I found it because I don't know exactly where I want to put it yet. But say we want to put it in the middle of the road. Bam, it's in the middle of the road. The next uh, button I like to use, I'm going to turn off extra objects selection. I'm going to disable it. I'm going to use your F1 and F2 key, which is object snaps off and surface snaps off. Now, as you can see, uh, when I was moving it around, I couldn't get it to clip anywhere. Oh. Uh. Okay. I can now bury this if I want to. I can put it anywhere I want with those two keys. It's pretty useful. So, but uh, I think we're gonna we're just gonna put it back where we found it for right now. And we're gonna go over to another part of Sanctuary and uh, I'm gonna show you guys a couple things. Okay. So with object snap, let's see, where are we at? Is it, okay, object snap and surface snap are both off. Before, I could not move this flat, this shack floor into the ground. With object snapped on, I cannot move it into the ground. It just snaps the other objects. With surface, surface snap on, I can't get it to go into the ground. With objects with surface snap off and object snap off, I can get it to go anywhere I want. So if you wanted to like, I don't know. I mean, the sky's a limit. You can make any kind of little design. You can make piles of trash. Uh, any anything your little heart desires, you can pretty much do. It's much more um, sandboxy in that sense. So I just turn object snap back on and surf and surface snap back on, and I can get it back in here. Now. If surface snap is off, I can get it to go underground or put it in between a tree, but it'll still snap the things. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Now <coughs> the junk fence here, it's snapping to a wall, right? Now th that's not very immersive looking. It, it actually defies physics. Not, not the guy physics, but physics. What I want to use now is the number pad on the right hand side of the keyboard. And you can um, move the, these objects in increments. You can make it go up, make it go down, go backwards, forwards, left, right. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. And right now, I'm just going to put it into the ground so it looks a little more realistic. So it looks like it was actually put there. And see now, it looks so much better, doesn't it? Now, um, if you want to change the size of it, that's the one key and the three key. So that's 90, 80, and you can make it really small or you can make it really big. And it'll stay that way. I think that's back at 100. There we go. Okay. So as you can, so, you know, you can take trees and you can make all the trees really small. You can make them really big. Uh, to change uh, another, uh, the right and left mouse key for place everywhere can make small changes. So, for example, all I have to do is highlight something and change, and I can move it back and forth with the key with the left and right mouse button. So, if you want to make something, if you want to turn it a little, or you're trying to hand place a lot of stuff, this is a really good way to do it. Uh, you can change the increments and how far it moves using, I believe, the star button and the minus button. So star makes it go up and it 
Oh, that's the step movement key. So you can see I'm using this. Step. These are steps. Moving it with the numpad. And rotation is the minus key. So I change it to point 0.1, it barely moves. You can see it barely moving. Now if I change it to 90, it goes a little crazy. <laughs> That's a little insane. I don't know why I did it like that. And there's like 15. It, it's pretty convenient. I usually stick it at 1 for making small changes. It's very, very useful. Um, but you, it cannot be, you can't select it and do it because otherwise it's just going to do this. Another thing uh, to do is changing the axis on which an item turns. So, for example, if I hit left control, it changes the axis to X. And I can make it look like this thing is buried in the ground. Kind of cool, huh? If I hit it again, it changes it to Y. And I can turn it left and right. If I change it back to Z... That's the normal access change uh, rotation. So I just made my uh, my sanctuary area look a little more realistic with the, the car on the ground. We could pretend that it got thrown into the ground by the blast, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, I hope this helps everyone out. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. You know where to find me, and I'll talk to you guys later.